th th this, is, this tends to plague, plague smart people. Um, they just can't, they, they define themselves by their intelligence and they, they don't like the idea that a machine could be way smarter than them, so they discount the idea, which is fundamentally flawed. That's the wishful thinking uh, situation. Um, I'm really quite close to, or I'm very close to the, to the cutting edge in AI, and it scares the hell out of me. Um, it's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows, and the rate of improvement is exponential. I, I'm not normally an advocate of regulation and oversight. I, I mean, I think one should generally err on the side of minimizing those things, but this is a case where you have a very serious danger to the public. And so therefore, there needs to be a public body that um, has insight and then oversight on to confirm that everyone is uh, developing AI safely. Um, this is extremely important. Um, I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Um, and nobody would suggest that we allow anyone to just build nuclear warheads if they want. That, that would be insane. And mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Far. So why do we have no regulatory oversight? This is insane. If, if humanity collectively decides that creating digital superintelligence is the right move, then we should do so very, very carefully. Um, very, very carefully. Um, this is the most important thing that we could possibly do. And anyone who, for, for the early people that go to, go to Mars, it'll be far more dangerous. I mean, really, it's, it, it kind of reads like Shackleton's ad for Antarctic explorers. You know, it's like um, difficult, dangerous, good chance you will die. <laughs> <laughs> Excitement for those who survive. <laughs> that kind of thing. A BFR flight will actually cost less uh, than, than our Falcon 1 flight did back in the day. Wow. Um, so that was about a 5 or $6 million marginal cost per flight. We we're confident that BFR will be less than that. Um, so that, that, that's profound, um, and that is what will enable the creation of a, uh, a permanent base on the moon and a city on Mars. Um, and that's the equivalent of like the Union Pacific Railroad, um, or, or having... Uh, ships that fucking cross, cross the oceans. Um, until you can get there, there's no way for all of the entrepreneurial energy to, um, to you, can't, you can't do anything. There's no way for all the flowers to bloom. Um, once you can get there, the opportunity is, is immense. Everyone in this room is inspired by you. Who are you inspired by? Well, Kanye West, obviously. <laughs> What you say? <laughs> Me too. Fred Astaire. And Fred Astaire. Would, you know, you should see my dance moves. We, we, um, may, we may see some actually, dance moves unless... I do love Fred Astaire. He's amazing. If you haven't watched his movies, they're amazing. Yeah.